Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Solomon and if you're new to this channel, I talk about minimalism, lifestyle, and tech. So today I'm going to be talking about what's on my iPhone? What apps do I use on a daily basis? So let's get right into it. So when you first open my screen, on the top left you see uh, Keynote, Pages, Numbers, and Docs. So I like to use all four of those when I'm working. The first three I like because they communicate with my Mac and my iPad and my iPhone so it's just seamless to work with those. I use Google Docs for when I'm like working with you know friends who don't have um, Apple products and they still want to you know work on something for me. On the second row I have Facebook and Instagram. I mainly don't really use Facebook a lot like that's not something that I spend that much time on it. I only post on there when I'm sharing a new YouTube video. The next app is Instagram. Now, Instagram I do use a lot, and ever since they you know, created stories, I've been on there a lot more than I should. I find myself you know, working on something at a moment, and then I find myself just looking at you know, different stories, which is just you know, a total waste of time. So I try to keep that closed. The next app that I have is the YouTube app. Yes, I still watch a lot of YouTube videos. I mean, even watching, you know, videos about freaking uh, Fallout, the new Fallout that came out, and, you know, just tech stuff for the most part, as well as I get notifications. And then I have, you know, YouTube Studios, which is right next to it. That is for the back end of my YouTube page, and it just hosts the analytics, like how many subscribers I get in a week, how many views I get. So that's pretty helpful for me. Next, I have my calendar for the, for this week. I have what Thanksgiving tomorrow, and then today I didn't. I had the day off of work today, so I didn't have anything to do. I just mainly put like when my paydays are, when my bills are due, and stuff like that. I have my clock. I usually put my alarm clock here. Um, I try to wake up at like 5:30 in the morning, so I leave my house around six just to get to work. I have my camera, my photos app, which I'm not really gonna open. And then I have, there's nothing like, you know, bad in there, but there's just too much stuff. And then I have my reminders, notes, my Gmail, which I have to clear out 3,287. I'm just gonna like go in there one day and just delete stuff because obviously it's not that important. If it is, like someone would have sent a letter to the house and like, hey, you missed a bill or something like that. So for the most part, I think they're just promotions. So I can just delete them anyway. Then I have the news. You know, sometimes I do like to sit here and, you know, watch what's going on in the world. And then I have the weather app, which tells me the weather. I use this for when I plan my week out, like what I'm going to do, what I'm going to wear. Right now, it's not too bad. It's kind of a little cold, but it's not the worst. Then I use maps. I use maps a lot. Some people will say, you know, how come you don't use Google Maps or how come you don't use Waze? And we'll get to that later. But for the most part, maps has been pretty good to me. And I don't see the need to have two GPS apps on my phone. But I do have ways on my phone for when, you know, I'm stuck in traffic and Maps is not giving me the fastest way home. So next to that, I have my Chase uh, bank app. That's where I do my banking, my calculators for when I need to do some quick math. I'm not that great at math, so that's why I have that. And then I have the stock apps that I just haven't deleted. And I probably won't delete them. I'm just gonna let them chill there. It's not like they're hurting me. Then I have my entertainment apps, so my Netflix, my Crunchyroll. That's all I really need. Um, then I have my photo and video. So I have my Photoshop Express in my Lightroom. I use that to edit the thumbnails and edit any photos that I put on Instagram. The next one is my finance section. I just have this stuff because sometimes I will get paid through PayPal or um, Venmo so that's why I have those apps and then I have my Verizon app because that's who I, I <laughs> that's who I chose to you know have my cell phone bill with freaking Verizon and their expensive plans and then I have LinkedIn for professional purposes like networking and reaching out and then like Geico and you can see all the rest of the apps this section is a uh, section that I use a lot I have my full fitness app. Basically, in this app, I can make like workouts on the fly. You see, you could choose which exercises by body part. 
So abdominals, this gives you all the different types of workouts you could do for your abs, and then you could do it for arms, and it just goes on and on. And then you could just make custom workouts. Like I got my back and shoulder. I like to do a lot of sets, you know, a good amount of reps. So that's what I use this app for. Then I have the activity app. It just basically just tracks. Since I wear my Apple Watch on a, like almost every day, that's why that's there. Then I have the, the watch app. It's Nike Run Club and Nike Training and just the Nike shopping app because I'm a huge Nike head. Most of my workout clothes is from Nike. Never wear Adidas. Like I just don't like Adidas. Team Nike all the way. So then I have my Bible app. I like to go here in the mornings and just read the verse of the day. And it's right there and right there. So I just read that in the morning, get my uh, daily uh, verse as well as some other plans. Then I have my Amazon app, which I love because everything I buy on Amazon and then I have the credit card so I get 5% cash back. So if you use Amazon a lot, I recommend getting their credit card because it just makes sense. You know, it just makes sense to get money back if you're spending money. Then I have eBay because I sell stuff on eBay and ways for when my um, Google, not Google, Safari, not, nah, dang it, what's it? Apple Maps is not working. I have ways for, you know, the back roads. So that's pretty much all that I have on my iPhone. Nothing really too complicated or too complex. And that's how I like to keep it, you know, you know, clutter free and organized. So thanks guys. I hope you like watching that video. If you did, please press that like button and subscribe to my channel. I normally make videos about minimalism, lifestyle and tech. So if you're interested in that, please press that notification button. And I would love to have you guys join me on my journey. Thanks and have a nice day.